Hello YTPC and welcome back to yet another review here in the Shire Shed. I am Sunny, you are the audience, and I am so very excited to bring you this review today. The reason I am excited is for one reason and one reason only. The tin note on this one is unbelievable. There's only been one other blend that has gotten me this riled up just from the tin note, and that was Newminster 400. Today, I will be reviewing Cornell and Deal Small Batch Steamworks. Let's go ahead and dive into that tin description, shall we? Propelled by top tier Old Belt Red Virginias, enhanced by two distinct steaming processes, this innovative small batch blend explores the deep, natural sweetness of flu cured leaf along alongside genuine St. James Perique and rare 2005 Black Sea Socum and other vintage oriental grades. A whole new world of flavor awaits discovery. Very, very intriguing and uh, it seems to be something that Cornell and Deal is kind of testing the waters and trying some new things which is good they should be taking chances as every good company should be uh, the components of this old belt red virginias from 2019 vintage heirloom orientals from 2005 and st james perique uh, from 31 farms i'm sure there were 8,000 tins of this made produced in July 2023 I am absolutely beyond excited to try this one uh, I honestly didn't see it advertised or publicized a whole lot honestly like I I don't remember hearing a ton about it I mean I I saw some, you know, but it wasn't like, it wasn't blown up. And to be honest, I wasn't even going to pick it up. Because I'm kind of just retailed out. Because, what, either Sunbear or Rustica dropped, you know, one before the other. I can't remember which now. And I think Shannon from Missouri Meerschaum, I think she was... I think she said there were nine drops in the month of July alone, which is crazy. So honestly, I was just retailed out. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to smoke what I got for the time being. There's just too much crap coming out. Uh, it's just been absolutely insane with the amount of tobacco that's been dropping. However, I happened upon a source that had this, and I got A10. And I'm really hoping I don't regret that. I'm not entirely sure what I expected from this one, but... Oh, uh, I really hope it doesn't bite me in the ass. Let's, uh... It smells amazing. It smells like Raisin Bran or Raisin Bran Crunch. It's got this nice graham cracker kind of smell in the tin and this nice raisin kind of smell and a nice bready kind of smell. Mm. I could have just eaten it. I haven't felt that same way about a tobacco since, well, I mentioned New Minster and then Anthology did that to me too kind of freaking out right now but trying to manage my expectations so let's just uh, let's let's do it i will be smoking this in my missouri meerschaum 
slash Cornell and Deal collaboration, Charlestown Cobbler. I actually haven't smoked this one in a while. I was smoking the hell out of this thing for quite some time. And, uh, I don't know, I just started picking up other pipes, but it happened. Let's go. Let's give this, let's give this a shot. Let's go! Okay, it's good. Right off the bat, it's good. Very rich, very deep, almost dark. Slightly sweet, slightly savory, a little bit of tang. Raisiny, bready, almost like a bread dough, not so much a cooked bread or a baked bread. Getting a little bit of the perique in there. Those red Virginias are singing. Got a nice, nice, savory, sweet. Mm. This is a winner. Mmm, I got something else there. Let me see if I can get it again. Almost like a star anise, anisette kind of flavor. This is very good. It uh, reminds me a bit of um, Seattle Pipe Club Hogshead. And I think, I think they produce that particular blend in a similar fashion, I think. This is very good. I can't say that it's on the level of like anthology or anything, uh, but it's definitely fantastic.
as I usually say, needs more Perique. But I say that about everything. <laughs> it's very good. If you can, by some miracle, get a hold of this stuff, uh, good luck, number one. Um, because I believe it sold out within the first, like, 18 hours or something. But, give it a shot. Uh, the Orientals are not playing as, they're not as forward as I thought they were going to be. And I'm indifferent about that. Because I like Orientals just fine. Um, I, but I could take them or leave them, really. I don't mind uh, Oriental Forward Blend. and I don't mind a blend that just has them in there kind of playing in the background. Um, you guys know me. I'm a Preet guy. And I'm always going to be. But the Orientals that are in this, they play very nicely with the other components that are in this. And the steaming process was brilliant. So, let's, uh, let's see what old Jim Inc. says, or as Mike Rondo my dude says, Jim Lynx. Uh, the exceptionally tangy vintage sun-cured Orientals include year 2005 Black Sea Silkum and provide an abundance of earth, wood, floralness, vegetation, herbs, some spice, leather, dry sourness, mild, buttery, creamy sweetness, smoked cigar, and a little nuttiness as the lead components. That's just the first part. Uh, it does come as a broken flake, kind of that classic Cornell and Deal broken flake that I absolutely love. Um, let's see. Uh, very little dry time, actually. Mine was not bad, uh, especially compared to other Cornell and Deal blends that I've gotten fresh out of the tin. Uh, this one was considerably more dry than other C and D stuff that I've had. So that was actually kind of surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, very well behaved so far. I was honestly a little worried uh, that I was gonna have a hard time keeping this lit because like Hogshead, uh, or not like Hogshead. Hogshead, I can't keep lit to save my life. I've dried it out until... I've dried it out until it was dust, pretty much. And I still couldn't keep it lit. So I, I don't know. You got me. I will say that I missed this pipe. A lot. Very, very good. Starting to get some more tanginess from the Orientals. Fantastic. C and D. Fantastic. C and D. You did it again. Well. Sonny's final verdict, 9 out of 10. Very well done. Again, that doesn't mean I'm going to want to pick this up every single day. However, objectively speaking, it is very, very good. Yeah, fantastic stuff. If you have a chance to go out and grab some, go out and grab some. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. 
If this is your first time watching and you're enjoying the content, please do me a huge solid and hit the like and subscribe, all that crap that YouTube likes for some reason. Helps get my videos to the to the front of everybody's feed that would normally like it. You probably know how this crap works by now. I'm yeah, just do the things if you like what I'm putting out. If you don't, eh, you, you, if you're not digging it, you can go somewhere else. It's it's not going to hurt my feelings at all. So, with that said, thank you so much for watching, guys. Love all your faces. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. But if you do, don't get caught. Deuces.